Hey guys, Scrub Vermillion here, back at it again with another multi-block title Lumino video. Today's complete guide features Ciel. Yeah, one of the most controversial characters, I think. Japan always rated her super high, some were saying she was the best character in the game. And over here, you know, our opinion was a little different. After this patch, she did get a couple nerfs, but still a very, very solid pick. We're gonna go about what makes her really strong at a high level, how to improve her, and we're gonna do all that good stuff, as you all know. Remember, there's all time codes, so if you're looking for something specific, make sure to hit those up. Thank you again for all the support in this series so far. After next episode, I will start going down the list of comments. So I'm gonna go through all the comments I've received, write them on the list, and whoever has more votes, it will be my next complete guide after next episode, guys. So again, if you guys want a character feature in complete guide, please leave a comment, please support the channel. Again, my goal is 3,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Totally doable, we're almost there. Thank you all for the support. We're gonna go right into it. So today's guest is pretty special. So I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. So I'll just leave the floor here for Pinku. Hello, my name is Pinku. Scrot graciously asked me to participate in helping him create a general guide for CL, so I happily obliged. So CL is a character who excels at playing a very strong hit and run style, alongside having a strong punish game, which allows her to close out rounds in situations where many other characters cannot, due to her effective arsenal of combo-friendly moon skills and meter gain. She is a balanced character who is very easy to learn, but hard to master. Um, she has some very solid neutral tools for many different occasions. She's typically able to confirm off of any range or any hit. She has a relatively safe offense, good meter gain, and good defensive options in her back dash and 2 2 DP. Uh, unfortunately, the character does not typically have the best mix up. She has relatively stubby ground normals and below average damage on some confirms, especially mid screen. Additionally, she also has a very standard offense with not many plus frames available, if any at all. So when we talk about CL's neutral, we have to talk about a couple very important normals on the ground, a couple special moves, and especially her air buttons. CL has some of the best air buttons in this game. Even pose nerves are still amazing. So let's break them all down. 5C is a very good forward hitbox. It's good at catching people trying to jump. It's cancelable into 4C, which can start offense, and it goes pretty good with Warzone hit. So 2C is fast, and it's mostly used for trip guarding. Remember, the best strategy for trip guarding is dash under them and hit them with the bottom on the way down. It's a little hard on seal, I will say. Sometimes you may want to use 5C instead. Either way, works fine. So let's talk about CL's defining feature. This is the Rekka Series 214B. This does a lot of things. It beats people trying to air dash at you. You can be EX cancelled or moon drive to be safe in case you whiff. It does pretty good corner carry mid screen and it gives you amazing rewards in the corner. It's not precisely a stoning tool, it's more like a long range boat. So think about it as just another button that you can cancel. And yeah, it will make your mid-range or past mid-range pretty strong and people need to kind of respect that at some ranges so yeah be mindful of it it's pretty good so let's talk about the really good stuff that seal has starting with what is in my opinion one of the best buttons in the game her jump a it is active as hell it is an amazing air to air especially when the opponent is above you and it can lead to very good situations, very easy hit confirms, very good guard breaks, etc. Definitely a button you want to get comfortable with at its effective range. The other button that makes her a beast and a neutral dominator is her jump B. This button is long, it has a backwards hitbox, it's a good startup overall, it's basically the other button you kinda wanna use for general neutral. So JA is for close quarters, JB is for long poking. So 
So the last move I want to talk about, which is a little unorthodox, is going to be a 236A series. So this move searches for a wall and you have a couple follow-ups, most of them are not that useful. The one that we're going to talk about is the 2 and 4 follow-up, which throws a lot of keys on the screen and lets you jump cancel, which is pretty important. So this move is kind of useful when you're playing from ahead, right? So when you don't want to force your offense, maybe you want the opponent to choke, the timer is against them, you don't need to force anything, right? So you search for a wall, go back to neutral, an advantageous position for you, since you're a dominator, and you force them to shield. Yeah, they can shield, but none of the follow-ups really gonna, are gonna affect you at the height that you're in. So you're just gonna make them waste more time, right? So there are some niche situations where this can be used, it's just gonna be a matter of finding those situations, seeing if they work for your playstyle. Right? So it's just a matter of preference. Seal's block strings are very reliant on repeats, as none of her specials leave her plus one block. 2 and 4B can be staggered in its series. The fear of the next one is what matters, as you can cash out with modest damage depending on the amount of daggers you hit them with. Remember, in the case of 2 and 4B, less daggers typically means more damage on your confirm. You can also stop and punish people trying to shield so the opponent can't just autopilot shield against keys using IED to catch low shield and 2C to catch high shield. You can also incorporate throw to discourage people from shielding and set up your next safe jump. A basic string with the character is 2A, 2B, 2C, where you can swap 5C or charge 5C, 4C, 5A with. If close to the opponent, you can also 5B at the end of the string to catch people trying to mash and then confirm into keys. There's also 2A, 2B, redash throw, 2A, 2B, redash back IAD. The main reason that you can end on 2B is because 2B has a good cancel window so you can stagger it or attempt to read ashes. You can also mash A normals at the end of 2B since that has a relatively long animation and long cancel window to catch people. So Seal has a couple ways to land combos on the screen. The most popular and the easiest to do is bouncing the opponent with 236BB and probably ending with J236C for good Ogizeme, good damage and corner carry. You can route it in many different ways. In the corner, we're gonna explore how Seal can basically evaporate your life bar. Like I alluded to, Seal gets some of the highest damage in the game when you are in the corner. So she is pretty threatening here. Like we said a little bit at the start, Seal's main strength is her ability to implement Moon Drive in her combos very naturally. So we're gonna show you some basic Moon Drive routes and some advanced ones so you can get a hang over it and yes, bring the pain whenever the opponent makes a mistake, man. That This is what this character is very good at.
Seal Oki is relatively straightforward in that she does not have a projectile Oki. So you, most of what your Oki is going to be in these situations is setting up for throw or safe jumping people to death. Um, she gets especially good Oki off of her throw in a consistent auto time safe jump by holding 9 after a throw, whiffing JA ascending, and then descending hitting JC. Uh, the Soki is great because it beats A shield, mashing, DP, and EX DP because of the amazing frame advantage that throw has for us. Uh, additionally, instead of JC, you can also replace it with JA, which will set up into a throw due to the reduced amount of hits done that JA has compared to JC. Additionally, in post air throw, you have jump IAD JC whiff uh, for a 2A cross up low, however, this loses to mashing depending on your timing, and there's jump IAD JB for a cross up overhead. Post air throw in the corner. Uh, you can actually 2A, 2A, DOS uh, after a short hop landing, um, which will be DPs, uh, it'll be heat, so this one is especially strong. And most people don't expect you to get a meaty low from an air throw situation, so that one is also nice. Uh, additionally, after 2 and 4C, you can also do a lot of dash up, delay jump IADs. Uh, or empty jump lows. Obviously this is entirely contingent on how much the opponent decides to respect you and how much you've conditioned them to respect what you're doing. Although the nice thing about CL specifically is if you do get them to respect you and you do get people to you know try and shield your offense even though it's not that initially intimidating and you read it correctly, you cash out on a lot of big damage opportunities that they basically just die for where other characters wouldn't. So that closes another complete guide on the books. Thank you again, Pinku, for all your help. And it was a lot of fun making this one because this is a character that a lot of people are still doubtful on, even after, you know, especially the patch and everything that has happened. I still think she has a lot of potential, like we've talked a little bit here. So grab these, get something started, and uh, you'll see, like, quickly enough, you're gonna be erasing life bars. So that's about does it. Thank you all for the support. Remember to like and subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Try to reach on that 3k subscriber goal for the end of the year. And I'll see you all on the next episode of Complete Guy. Take care, guys.